So if you want to, if you can see the difference in size. So you can kind of see that back here is, is clearly a lot larger than this one. Um, like I said, I just finished up this series right here. It is the reader series. Everyone is reading uh, books written by black authors. Uh, and the last one right here is Frederick Douglass, or the narrative of the life of Frederick Douglass, an American slave. If you've never read Frederick Douglass, I would advise you to read it. So yeah, this was um, this was the last painting I completed. It's it's actually still wet in some spots, but it turned out really good. I'm I'm really proud of this piece. And when it dries and gets to be shown in the exhibition, I think people will really enjoy it. Um, here's the next to the last one I did. Uh, this was finished a few weeks ago. It's dry, but it's not. <laughs> And this is my um, this is my homie from uh, Wilkesbury. Her name is uh, Marquita. I don't know this gentleman. Me and her set up a photo shoot, and we just happened to meet him. And I asked, can I take pictures of him? So it came. Excuse me, I don't know why I'm burping like that. But it came out nice. It looks it looks really good. You know what I'm saying? I already got a lot of good feedback from this painting. There's tons of details in here. Really, really detailed painting. Um, it took me about 60 hours to finish this painting. Uh, she's reading uh, Francis Cress Wilson, The Isis Papers. He's reading Mastery by Robert Greene. And there's also uh, Nelson Mandela right there. Yeah, so this one turned out really nice. I have some of these on display right now at one of our local galleries. So I don't have all of them here. And I have some other paintings here too. This isn't a part of the reader series, but it was still a good painting. But y'all can see all of this on my Facebook page if y'all want to So this isn't going to be a long stream. I'll probably uh, just stream for probably about an hour or so. Like, I just work 12 hours a day, and I got to work tomorrow. But that's just being diligent, man. If you got a dream, if you got some kind of ambition, if you want to, you know, be all you can be, it takes a lot of dedication it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort so even you know I don't there are some days where I'm just too tired and too lazy to do it but even after working a 12-hour shift I come home and I still come in the studio and I still try to paint just a little bit every day just because I know like one day my art will take me to where I want to be you know what I'm saying I will I will be a famous artist one day believe it or not I believe it Hey, hey. Outfits. So, with that being said, Keeping the G ain't nothing. 
You ain't got to like it because the hood going to love it. You ain't got to like it because the hood going to love it. This is live, yo. That's the only thing, though, about about YouTube. It's weird, yo. Like, it shows your real name or whatever YouTube account you make up or whatever email you use for your YouTube. It will come up. Your your government, yo. People are fucking geo like, oh shit, shit, you my government. Yeah, bro. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do? Um, I'm just trying to get that light. This right here on the inside of the arm. And add that light right here a little bit. So I'm gonna start lightening this up. And if you've never seen me paint before, I always work with oil paints. And I know it my my paintings look dark in the beginning, but that's how they always go, yo. And I work from dark to light. So after a while it'll start lightening up as I progress through the process, yo. Sometimes I'll be on Ustream, but this is the last month for Ustream. So after this month, it's only going to be YouTube. And uh, most of my fan base is on Ustream, so I, I go back to Ustream a lot. But I just got to build up a new fan base on YouTube now, yo. Why you work? 
Looking for a gold ochre. Where in the hell is my shit at? Ah, that's that gold. That's that gold ochre. Yeah, I need that. Right now, one of these raps in love. I'm so serious. 
You might get high from the end it. Get stupid fly at any event. Spray some OCM in that bed. Bring the hose and tell them shake that shit. Send my jail niggas flicks. We zip it. She love it. In the kitchen, in the oven. It's just like both an air bitch. And air bitch ass nigga bring they back. Try to take care of them. We get high. We laugh at them. I swear ain't no comparing them to no nigga in my area. They just like no play time. Oh, my God. 
touch his squeal. Blaze top like Kill Bill. I'm gonna show you how to twerk. I'm gonna show you how to twerk. Call me. Call the pipes. Let's <laughs> go. 
Triple J rock. Shit, just the same old, same old. Same things in the hood. Chasing the best dope. Project hustling. Chasing them pesos. Struck every day, man. You know how the shit goes. But my demeanor never switch. Cherry red beamer. Game bang the fuck out. Red rag around the Nina. No doubt, I'm living it. Been claiming the set since the year they found Snoop innocent. Slang a hard rock when the rap game was ran by Timberless. The Cortez is back on my strap. Let me put a hole in them. And what's concealed in the black till I'm a rock them and sleep like a babysitter. I seen it all, loyalty, betray your envy. My close homie died in my arms. 1200 project units under the sun. It ain't about where you're at, it's about where you're at. Fuck. Welcome to what's Cat Leap for ya. When we ain't scared to run up on ya. You ain't prepared when it go down. You already dead right about now. Welcome to what's Cat Leap for ya. When we ain't scared to run up on ya. If you're prepared when it go down, then you know it's shit got to The homie told me, put your feelings aside. But since I got signed, I've been feeling the vibes. Niggas play the background and screw their face all day. Wanna walk in my shoes, wanna take my place. So at any given time, they might take my life. So I take the 38 when I ride at night. Broad day, no exempt. Niggas kill you when the sun is out. Make sure your gun is out and stay inside your mama house. It's that real, you don't feel me yet? Fine, niggas, drop the beat and just let me vent. No mask on, fuck around and kill your whole squad. Be the last person to see before you meet God. Keep the rifle on top of the tripod Ain't odd if you live, your body might need parts J-Rock, putting it down for top dog From the bottom to the top, we shoot straight to the stars Welcome to what's Cat Leap for ya When we ain't scared to run up on ya You ain't prepared when it go down You already dead right about now Welcome to what's Cat Leap for ya When we ain't scared to run up on ya If you're prepared when it go down Then you know it's shit like turn This has been another tragic incident One confirmed death and one in critical condition Stay tuned in for more coverage on this story I'm just sitting in the studio just trying to get to you, baby, baby. But this is so fucking dope that it's hard enough for me to play it, play it. Yeah, I'm just sitting in the studio just trying to get to you, baby, baby. So I'm just sitting in the studio just trying to get to you, baby. All they lay in my though I'd rather lay with you, baby, baby. Brown and Fanny's matching that and told you what kind of lady. Angel out of heaven, such a god is having me pray. I'm just sitting in the studio, just trying to get to you, baby. It's hard enough for me to play To tell the truth that she was you In this book that I was playing So I'm just sitting in the studio Just trying to get to you Baby, the real nigga shouty So come and throw that pussy shouty See, I think you and me can make it This little burst to get you naked See, your heart ain't meant for breaking You bitch never been mistaken See, I've been <laughs> I didn't know your real name, Chris. <laughs> that was somebody else said, is that Tupac? I'm like, no way, this is me, yo. Yeah, well, I'm about to cut it off now. This is, um, the layer of paint that I'm adding right now is not the final layer of paint, but you can clearly see the, um, the change in the shade and tone as I lighten it up. So even though it is a little bit lighter now, I'll come back and refine the details uh, and add some more highlights and tones to it to give it that more round uh, definition. And so these these paintings might go actually quicker than I thought they would. 
Uh, they're very simplistic. Uh, the background, all this negative space, I'm gonna go put another coat because it is kind of thin. So I'll put another layer of paint even on the background and then I'm going to write a poem on this side of the canvas. And I have two other canvases. So this is a small series of self portraits and they're all gonna have poems written on it. Uh, my own poetry from years ago when I was in high school, I used to write a lot of poems. Uh, so I figured I'll bring back that uh, facet of my artistic expression and, and add that into my painting. So it's two different distinctive art styles in one. You have the painter and you have the writer. Uh, and so this is the artist himself bearing his emotions and his thoughts and his concepts and uh, his creativity to the viewer so you can see him visually in and read his words all at the same time. So this is uh, the writer. Like I said, I finished the one series, the reader series where everyone is reading this. Like I said, this is just a really small, quick series that I'm entitled the writer. Uh, the next series after this will be the whisperers. Uh, so I haven't started uh, photographing for that yet, but I do have some models lined up. I really just need to um, get on the ball, get out there and get these, and you get these photographs taken so I can go ahead and uh, be prepared for my next project after I complete this series right here. I'm gonna just uh, blend some of this in a little bit more real quick. All right, all right, that should be good. Yeah, like I say, guys, I, I did work today, so I, I already knew I wasn't gonna paint for a long time. And then me and my son had to go to the bank after work and I actually let him drive me to the bank. He's only 12, but I already got him driving and shit. So he, and the bank's only like three blocks away, but he, he still drove me to the bank, you know? So, uh, yeah, I'm already having fun painting this because it's me and I'm handsome as shit. <laughs> a little bit of conceitedness there. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be a series of self portraits. Uh, that harsh contrast between the shadow and dark just to see the figure emerge from the darkness and and you know once he gets into the light you can see who he really is uh, and so this is one and then here is the second one and you can see that these are just the underpaintings that's why they're still really dark and muddy and uh really uh the harsh colors uh, so these are just the undertones or the underpainting. So this is going to be the second one in the series. Once again, I left a lot of negative space so I can uh, fill it in with a poem. And so this series, the second in the, the writer series. I don't know, I think this may be my favorite photograph. So this is gonna be the last installment, but it actually has motion in it. You can see like the photograph was taken while, you know, my dreads were actually in motion. And I think that's pretty flipping cool, yo. So I think when this one is done, it's gonna, it's gonna be really nice as, as well, just because it does have that fluidity and you can actually see, see that motion in the hair. And so if I can pull it off right, it's, it'll look really good, yeah. It's gonna look really nice, but we'll definitely see. And so these canvases are a little smaller, and like I said, there's a lot of negative space. Once again, you can see here where I left the space for the poem. So like I said, these canvases may not take a long time to complete. Uh, the hardest thing might be writing the letters and just, you know, getting the letters neat and straight enough because my letters are never perfect i don't really focus on the perfection in uh, a lot of my art anymore I, for a while i tried to be a perfectionist and i just come to the realization that you know i the, my eye sees things a certain way and that's just how i see it and uh so i like a lot of details in my art but is, is it going to be perfect? Not really. You know what I'm saying? So when I write these poems, as long as they're neat and legible, uh, I think it'll work well. So, um, 
That's it, guys. That's all I have going right now. Finish these series. Got this. I have some random photos in my camera uh, of my son, my nephew, uh, my niece. I had one other model uh, do some photos for me, but they were just once again like a random kind of photo shoot uh, that I may use. I did get a commission today. My high school guidance counselor contacted me and said he wanted a painting done for his parents anniversary uh so we talked a little bit and he said let him think overnight and he'll contact me tomorrow and get this project started so uh there is one and one of my classmates his younger sister contacted me as well saying that she may want to purchase a painting for me uh this month i'm at afa gallery for is afa which is Artists for the Arts. And uh, we have our member show this month, which is going on, doing really well. I have three paintings down at the member show. Uh, one of my friends uh, actually owns a business of his own. It's a black owned business. And he allows me to, uh, you know, showcase some of my art in his, in his business. So I have probably about six paintings there. Uh, some members of AFA Gallery, they opened up a subsidiary of the gallery and they want me to put some stuff in there next month and which will be on display for two months so that's august and september i'll have some art on display uh here in scranton and then also in september i have to go back to york pa and uh there's a show that's going to be down there that they invited me to be a part of i think it's me and two other artists are going to have a whole gallery to ourselves so i'll probably have to take like six or seven paintings there and then September, uh, August, September, I think in October, I was supposed to be in the Bronx at the Museum of Art, uh, the Bronx Museum of Art, but there may be a stipulation to the exhibit that may not allow me to show art. If, I'm, if I read the uh, registration form right, the piece that you submit has to be 30 by 30 inches. And I don't have square canvases. I'm ne I've, I've never painted on a square canvas. I always paint on rectangle canvases, I don't know. So I don't have any canvases that are 30 by 30. I just don't have any. So I may not be able to participate in this, uh, the Bronx Museum of Arts exhibit this year. But this weekend, I'm definitely gonna go buy me some fucking 30 by 30 canvases. <laughs> I didn't know people would do that. Like, oh, your, your canvas has to be square. Like, really? Uh, all right. I appreciate guys uh, chilling with me for a little while. Like I said, I know the stream wasn't that long. Normally, on my days off, I try to stream for like at least four or five hours, have a lot of conversations. My show is called Art and Education, so it's not always art. I do like to debate and uh, bring up social, political, economic issues, uh, especially now with this Black Lives Matter movement and we're uh, picking up speed. There's a lot of opposition to the movement and it's still being, uh, you know, slandered in mainstream media as a hate group and all these other things but i'm so happy that we're unifying again you know uh and this is this is a positive thing things are going to change in the next couple weeks months years and uh i just want to talk about these issues so we can push the, the progress forward uh you know what i'm saying and, and keep keep the, the the topics open keep the debate open keep the conversation open keep the dialogue open because if we don't talk about it we're not gonna you know we're gonna always stay stagnant and that's what people of all races but uh mostly uh blacks you know what i'm saying and a lot of stuff the marching and protests are cool but we waste a lot of energy doing that where where the where <laughs> Where the buck stop is with the dollar, you know what I'm saying? What do you do with your dollar? Where do you spend your dollar? You can't keep saying, you know, you know, the system and white supremacy this and white supremacy that and crooked cops and the government and you keep spending your money with these people, you know what I'm saying? Because they're not going to listen to you. But once you, you spend your dollar in a certain area and take your money, 
out the pocket of other people and then they may want to listen to you a little bit better so we have strategies and some tactics that we need to work on we need to focus on real leadership uh, i think that's one of the main things that has hindered this movement since its uh inception in 2012 or 13 is that you know we haven't had like real leaders in the um and there we do have good leaders but we the youth don't know who to listen to sometimes there's dr boyce watkins dr clark anderson um you know i said umar johnson we have a lot of good voices out there with a lot of intelligence and information that they can give to the youth to help this movement stay coherent and grow in a prosperous manner i don't know why i got on this tangent but uh yeah just talking about art and education and about the show but really guys i haven't eaten dinner so i'm about to go Get, grab some grub and chill for a couple hours until I gotta go to bed for work in the morning. So with that being said, people, once again, I really appreciate everybody in my stream. You do not know how much I really do appreciate you guys being in my stream, yo, because, you know, this is your free time. You have free time right now, and you choose to spend your free time watching me uh, create art and talk a little bit, which is it's awesome, you know what I'm saying? So uh, thank you. Appreciate you for tuning in. Uh, okay, with that being said, you know what I'm about to tell you. Always, always chase your dreams. Work towards your dreams. If you're not working towards your own dreams, you're working towards somebody else's. And that's doing you no good at all. So always, always work towards your own dreams. Focus on your own dreams. And in order to do that, you must invest in yourself. Always invest in yourself financially and emotionally. Uh, if you have any kind of talent, any kind of talent, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? Nurture your talent, you know, consciously cultivate your talent and try to become better. Uh, try to master your talent. And once you have your talent mastered, figure out a way to make money off of it. And that's how you live the dream, yo. You know what I'm saying? Earning a living by doing something that you would be doing anyway, something you have a passion for. And that is the key. But in order to do that, you have to invest in yourself. You have to focus on your dreams. And you have to consciously uh, push your craft and push your talent. Ain't no bums going to make it, man. This is all hard work and diligence. But you know what you can do? Keep a smile on your face because it chases the haters away. Keep a positive attitude and stay away from negative people. Negativity is contagious and it will hold you back. So until next time, people, peace.